It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Carolina Panthers. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Carolina Panthers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. to get us going and we are underway here in Charlotte and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 so out come the Rams now for their first possession leading the charge at quarterback the former Georgia Bulldog Matthew Stafford and Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Right to the air. Here's Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a play fake it at Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Stafford to his number one guy cup for Los Angeles first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now a dump off here complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 43. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. And really gets them amped up as they go forward. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. 
That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. To throw on second down to Stafford. To the right side, it completes to Atwell. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. It's larger been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Williams again, trying to find a lane, but he finds nothing but defenders. Stop for no gain at the two-yard line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal will feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach... And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group... They tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. An extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. 
end result of that one, a nice four yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Looking to throw, Young. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Third and short yardage, Young. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18 yard gain. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Meanwhile, Young's throw here on target to host. Gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Young to throw it. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. It'll be Young again. Got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And they'll get ten there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route, He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Now here's Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. One well, thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Young. That swung out wide to Sanders. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll throw again. Young. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. 
Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. Williams loses the football, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This is up and good for Pinheiro. And that will do it for this first half. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, we saw a strong thanks as first always. Half this one's still Alabama anyone's man, game as we number one selection, for Bryce Young. Number three. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. Tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. On second down, Young. Short throw hard in by Trimble. First target, first catch, and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. 
And they'll run on first down with Hubbard into about the 40-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he's going to burn his way forward to the 48. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant rock, I loved where he put it. He put it on the body of the receiver low so that he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. A first down throw for Young. Open man. Once again, it's Thielen. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Final minute now in the third quarter. Now a second down throw for Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 27 yard line. A nice pick up there at 11 yards and it'll move the sticks. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They go play action. Young, he's going to take a shot for the end zone. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Adam Thielen, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Adam Thielen. Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw is Stafford. Right back to Atwell. That's complete. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Back to throw, Stafford. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Finding Williams once more, complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's Stafford now on second down. Throws to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. First target, first catch, and a first down. Again, it's Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 two -two Atwell. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's second and inches at the 34-yard line. Throwing a Stafford. Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Stafford on third down. That is caught. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Stafford slow here, holding by Cup. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the Panthers' 20-yard line. They'll come up now on second down. Stafford now to throw. Pass complete there to McCoy. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. This is first and ten. Now it's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Now Stafford. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And the Rams are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here we go. First and goal. Stafford. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. 
limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Time definitely of the essence now, just under a minute to play, and here we go. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And he's going to get this inside the third. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they'll indeed take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.